Blessed be the name of the Lord. Um, I'm welcoming you in the, in the place where um, the Holy Spirit is taking me. When I started this um, um, kind of a personal ministry, uh, sharing more than a ministry and personal sharing. <clears throat> One thing that uh, the Lord wanted me to do is to create this environment, to show you this environment where it's possible to live in. It's uh, it, some people describe it as um, kingdom of God. Some people describe it this is heavenly living. This is. Uh, spiritual walking in the spirit I mean different type of thing but it's it's a very real and day-to-day -day walk in this atmosphere which has a dominion of life of peace and lots of springs of joy coming in um, so welcome <laughs> to the place that he is uh, building as, as a garden. Um, we'll share things um, as he is bringing that fruit inside uh, my soul. And you will connect so much with him directly, deeper than the words. We are um, we're talking about um, relationships uh, this month, and uh, I would say the the fruit of any relationship is the fruit of the spirit, which is the Lord. Our relationship with the Father is Christ. Is in Christ. It's Him. He is the way. Right, he d doesn't just show a way; he is the way. So he is our relationship with the Father. And we talked about um, fruit and the importance of fruit. And I keep repeating those places from Second Peter because you will hear different aspects. And different things will pop inside your understanding. Say, yeah, that's what it says. And one one thing that uh, one expression that I keep repeating is that uh, that never stumble is in the Word of God. It's in the Bible. It's in something that. Uh, it's not disputed in the old new manuscripts or something, something that the Apostle Peter wrote, and it's found in all manuscripts. And more than that, it's found inside us. Um, 2 Peter 1.10 Therefore, brethren, be even more diligent to make your call and election sure. For if you do these things, you will never stumble. See, if, um, if everything is completely done and there's nothing we can do, uh, then um, I, you know, that desire for never stumble, that desire in my heart to be exactly, to manifest Him perfectly, then it has no sense because, you know, everybody's going to get to the same place no matter what. Or I'll get that place because that's what is my destiny. Now, my destiny and your destiny is Christ. Nothing less. Nothing more. It's Him. So, now He comes as He comes through you and the Holy Spirit is inside is to manifest Him. And this is where you do these things. <laughs> so, the impartation... It's not just to show you this amazing, powerful Christ in you, but also to bring inside you clear, distinct 
doing things that still come from him they still come from rest like everything that he did Jesus did all the healings all the miracles everything he did the teachings he did it out of rest he had an active rest but yeah because he says I'm doing what my father is doing what was the father doing he entered rest the father was in a seven day <laughs> He entered rest. So Jesus was doing things like the Father, as he saw the Father out of rest. Not outside rest, but out of rest. Okay? So um, this is so important because it's a balance that he is bringing inside you. I am in rest, therefore I'll speak this, or I'll go there, or I'll do this, or I'll cut this out of rest. Okay? Good. So, an entrance, verse 11, will be supplied to you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> everlasting kingdom supplied to you abundantly. This is the plan of the Lord for your life. Abundance. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, um, I love when he says Galatians 5.23, Against such there is no law. Talking about the fruit of the Spirit. There is no law. You know, it's, some people grab the, the good part of the law and they try not to do the bad part. And they cannot find that fruit manifesting, appearing, growing inside them. Because it's still part of the tree of knowledge. And the fruit of the tree of knowledge, there is a fruit. They ate something, right, in the garden. There is a fruit of the tree of knowledge. And the fruit of the tree of knowledge is separation. <laughs> yeah, it's the awareness of sinful, of sin. It's separation. So you keep eating that, trying to do good, not to do bad. You feel more separate and more into yourself than before. So you ate the wrong fruit. Okay. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Okay. So um, the growth of the fruit of the Spirit is in our soul. And um, the fruit has the same quality, no matter the size. Okay, um, but as the 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 fruit grows, it fills the whole garden. It's like the whole thing becomes love, peace, joy, long suffering. The whole thing. Okay, the whole soul. So today we talk about the fruit of the Spirit, which is goodness. So we talked about kindness, and kindness has this manifestation. Okay, It's doing the good deeds. It's the kindness. The goodness, um, the agathos word in Greek, it's... Um, the good, the pleasant, the upright, the honorable. Interesting definition. So, while kindness was the overwhelming evil with lots of goodness, lots of kindness, with good, making evil completely um, um, useless or powerless, uh, goodness is being good with no competition okay so there is a kindness of God shown but God is good out of goodness he shows kindness do, do, do you see that the two okay you do uh, Exodus 33 19 then he said I will make all goodness pass before you and I will proclaim the name of the Lord before you Moses asking for show me your glory 
I will make all my goodness pass the goodness. It's glory. <laughs> wow. Second Thessalonians 1.11 Therefore we also pray always for you that our God would count you worthy of his calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness. All the good pleasure of his goodness. There is a good pleasure of God's goodness. He wants to fulfill inside us. And work of faith with power. Fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness. And the work of faith with power. Such a completeness. What the Lord prepared for us. And what is working in us through the Holy Spirit. Those are not just phrases and words. He is doing that inside us. And, of course, the, the place that we went before in Matthew 19, 17, that um, um, somebody comes to Jesus and says, Hey, good teacher. And uh, Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but one that is God. Again, one. One is good one okay this is this is a very powerful deep thing and i do believe that jesus um, um said why do you call me good is that he realized that that person saw him as a teacher saw him as a very um as a guru, as a good man. So the person could not see Jesus as one. That's why I said, don't call me good compared to bad. Don't call me good teacher because you had some bad teachers. I am not the good from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. I'm not that good. I am one. <laughs> okay? So, see, in, in, um, it's so important to know that God is only good. It's not good and bad. Okay? Lots of the stuff that people start to know is from the tree of knowledge not knowing the heart of the father which is one good okay in heaven there is not a day or night the lamb is only light he's the true light lots of times jesus uses this i'm the true vine i'm the true bread the real, the, the true one, the one from that realm where there is only one. There's not good and bad. It's one good. It's light. It's not light and dark. <laughs> you see that. Not good and evil in him. God is only good. So, um, Lots of times we still pray, and get this, against sickness and evil problems in our lives from the tree of knowledge. Because we get so incited to maybe revenge or making things right and doing this and doing that. And we hate evil and we'll do that. And yes, the fear of the Lord would really separate and come and judge evil. But that's the fear of the Lord, okay? As far as we are concerned, we have to check that we are not in the tree of knowledge. Because when the fruit of goodness fills our soul, there is no place for good and evil. Absolutely no more place for for tree of knowledge. Right. The verse that I really love 
in um, Hebrews 5.14, where he says the solid food belongs to those who are of full age. This is the maturity, maturity of the fruit in us. Okay, That is, those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. And I, I did the research in there, and it doesn't say, uh, with that preposition used, discern good from evil, because that is still tree of knowledge. That mature fruit, the solid food, it discerns the essence who God is, goodness, from the good and evil. <laughs> That's solid food. And this is something that you are growing into when you hear somebody talking, when um, uh, you read the scripture. It's your mind is renewed and is taught from the tree of life. You see no separation. Someone was saying to me that, um, you know, I, um, I, I know that my I have to speak to my soul, uh, but since I don't want to differentiate soul, spirit, body, I'm speaking to me. So I say, Val, you are the righteousness of God. And that is simple, easy, works. And Val can say, I am the righteousness of God. Without necessarily thinking, well, that's true in the spirit, it's becoming in the soul. And for some people said that's complicated. My only question I had for the type of understanding was, who is speaking? <laughs> you are the righteousness of God. Who is speaking? Because <laughs> it says second person, right? So if I'm speaking to you <laughs> and you are hearing me from the tree of knowledge, right? Um, then you're going to say, yes, uh, I, I wish, or yes, I like to do that. Or, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to get this umbrella and covering, yes, I'm righteous because God says that, done. But if you hear who is saying that, it's the one saying that. Whoever is joined to the Lord is one spirit. Who is saying that? This is solid food. <laughs> right? This is solid food. Where you can speak to your soul. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. I'm speaking righteousness in you, my soul. Because you speak from the one. <laughs> So it has an importance to understand spirit, soul, body, not to keep it separated. But when the maturity comes, you do not allow that separation. And you speak from one into one. And that's the blessing that remains. The goodness of God. God is good. Hallelujah.